Screen recording is taken by me. Hey guys, Crown Prince Double P 2.2 here. And today, well, not, not today since it's nighttime. I mean, right now I'm at Terrible Bull Shows in Episodes Wiki. Key on the Timo Supremo page. Why? Because I'm here to point out the now what they didn't cover for on the uh whatever <sighs> whatever. So, anyways, with that out of the way, let's get reading. Timo Supremo. There are a handful of good superhero kid cartoons out there, but this isn't one of them. Oh yeah, says the one who never... Oh yeah, says the dumbass who never seen the show. Timo Supremo. Genre, animation, superhero, action, adventure, comedy. Running time, 11 minutes. Country, United States. Release date, January 19th through... August 17th, 2004. Created by Phil Walsh. Distributed by Buena Vista Television. Starring, starring the voice talents of Spencer Breslin, Lynn as Captain Crandall, Alana Ubach as Rope Girl and Skate Lad, Martin Mull as Governor Kevin, Fred Willard as Mr. Paulson, Brian Noel Murray as... The Chief, Julia Sweeney as Crandall's mom, Sydney Walsh as Madam Snake, Mrs. Willingant, various characters and villains in Timo Supremo, to name a few, Jeff Bennett, Knit, various characters and villains, to name a few, Maurice Lamarcky, Key, various characters and villains, to name a few, Mark Hamill, Bull, Birthday Bandit, Shelly Bennett, I bet she's the voice of the songstress slash Tiffany Jablins, Tim Curry as Laser Pirate, April Winchell as Hypnotheria. Seasons 3, Episodes 39, 76 Segments. Timo Supremo is an American animated television series created by Phil Walsh and aired on Toon Disney and ABC Kids, formerly Disney's One Saturday Morning. It ran from 2002 to 2004. It revolves around three child superheroes named Captain Crandall, Skate Lad, and Rope Girl. Now let's get to the reason why... to the reason why it's not Supremo. Number one, bland and unimpressive. Number one, bland and unimpressive animation, even for two thousand standards. How bland and unimpressive is the show? Some episodes are, but the show itself, to me, it's kind of unique. If you ask me, number two, uninteresting character designs, even in cartoon-like design standards. Dirts. Bullshit. Number, I meant number two. Number three, it feels like a shallow wannabe of young, of the young child superhero genre like the Powerpuff Girls and Mucha Lucha. One thing I need to point out is that the show didn't rip off both the Powerpuff Girls and Mucha Lucha. For one thing, Timo Supremo consists of two boys and... Boys, namely Captain Crandall, a.k.a. Crandall, and Skate Lad, a.k.a. Hector, and one girl, namely Rope Girl, a.k.a. Brenda, while the Powerpuff Girls is an all-girl superhero team. Team. If you want to know... If you want to know why it didn't rip off the Powerpuff Girls... Watch the first episode in the beginning and duly deputized super agents. It'll show you that it didn't, it's not a ripoff of the Powerpuff Girls. Heck, it's nothing like the Powerpuff Girls. Yeah, and for Mucha Lucha, how did it rip off Mucha Lucha? 
This show and Timo Supremo both premiered in 2002. Like, Mucha Lucha is about mass wrestling. League. Um, sorry. And if, and I don't know what kind of idiot claims that. That. Timo Supremo came out Mount seven months before Mucha Lucha premiered. Premiered in August 7th, 2002. I mean, not August 7th, August 17th, 2002. And that Timo Supremo Mo, came out in January 19th, 2002. Same year. So yeah, I'd say it didn't rip off Mucha Lucha. Cha. To the person who claimed that, that and put that on the lust, on the terrible TV show wiki of Timo Supremo, you are retarded. It's, you are so retarded as hell. It's like you never even see the show properly. Moving on. Four. Bland and unlikable characters such as the three main characters who are just kindergartners and heroes along with the governor, Kevin, who just recruits heroes as a game. <sighs> Bullshit! Shit. They aren't in kindergarten. They're in third grade. They're in third grade. And according to the first episode, in the beginning, Ning, Timo, uh, Timo, a.k.a. Captain Cradle, Rope Girl, and Skate Lad, Lad, auditioned for Governor Kevin, who was hesitant to hire your kids like them, three kids like them, as superheroes, since, according to Governor Kevin himself, it's a grown-up job. But in the end, they were hired your ass superheroes. In that case, Hemo Supremo, since they stopped Baron Blitz. He didn't just hire. Number five, out of original and very laughable names for Timo Supremo members. Bullshit. Number six, the voice acting is cringeworthy, especially from child actor Spencer Breslin, known for his roles such as Disney's and Kid, Kid the Cat in the Hat, and Zoom. I don't find it cringeworthy. The voice acting is just fine. Fine if you ask me, so shut the fuck up. The ser Number seven, the series protagonist Captain Crandall gives away his identity by not wearing a mask and making his real name Crandall the second word in a superhero name. Maybe he could be an alien. Crandall well, is an alien from another planet. <laughs> the same thing can also be said about Skate Lad, who, like Captain Crandall, also doesn't wear a mask. At least he doesn't give away his real name as Captain Crandall does. The background look... Number eight, the background looks unfinished. Looks the backgrounds look unfinished. Interestingly, the show's aesthetic was also inspired by J. Ward cartoon J. Ward's cartoons. That's true. True, but some of the episodes aren't. Some of the scenes of the episodes don't look unfinished, even when it's zoomed right into the characters. Number nine, boring episodes. To see the episodes, click here. How can people see the episodes? It just leads to the Wikipedia page of Timo Supremo. Mo. If they want to see the episodes... Here's where they can see the episodes of Timo Supremo. 
right here available on YouTube. And yeah, I did. And yeah, I did make a playlist list for the episodes. But five of them, them appear to be missing because nobody is looking for them. They're just lazy. Lazy as hell. Anyway, moving on. Forgettable villains, including Mr. Vag. I doubt the villains are forgettable, but to viewers, Mr. Vag, Vag is a boring villain who's never specific of what he wants to steal. Being that he only appears in two episodes, Mr. Vag does something, one episode being found and available to watch, namely on YouTube, and Uncontrollable Goopy Substance, which is one of the lost episodes that I'm struggling to find, as are many people. Obnoxious theme song that gets very that gets old very quickly. I doubt the theme song is obnoxious. I mean, it's got a guitar, tarp, solo, drums. Heck, it even rocks. So that's bullshit. Shit. Of how obnoxious the theme song song is. I found find it catchy. Redeeming qualities. Yeah. <laughs> Some episodes are well structured while the show looks bland, which I doubt it is. It's, it is kind of nice that the show is taking inspiration from Jay Ward cartoons. The voice acting, except for for Alano Bach, actress of the main protagonist in El Tigre, The Adventures of Mini Rivera, and Spencer Breslick, despite being generic, is kind of passable. And now we even go to the reception page. It has been criticized for... For its similarities to the Powerpuff Girls and Mucha Lucha, and has a 4.10 on IMDb and a 5.3310 on TV.com. How can it be similar to the Powerpuff Girls and Mucha Lucha? It's not. That's bullshit. Trivia: The background means. The backgrounds being finished and the animation being limited is because of the show's aesthetic style being inspired by the Jay Ward cartoons. The old Jay Ward cartoons. That's true. Now we go to the comments. Mr. Nameless Sings said Mr. Nameless Sing writes the show isn't even on Disney+. Plus. Not yet, at least. Well, you're right, Mr. Nameless Singh. Timo Supremo isn't even on Disney+. Plus. And, and do you guys want to know why? 34 out of 39 episodes, episodes have been resurfaced, but five episodes from the third season aren't found. In Space Boy 2009 comments, Timo is that bad? As good, as bad as to Disney not putting it on Disney Plus? Good, because this show is pretty much worse than In the Night Garden, TBH. Yeah, right. Timo isn't that bad. To me, Timo isn't that bad. And in Space Boy 2009, Pretty soon it will be on Disney Plus, whether you like it or not. So suck it up. And I gotta have, and I gotta agree to Janelle Jet. I don't really know how they they rip off of the Power Girls, girls because this show doesn't even have the same sex team. It has two boys and one girl. And these kids aren't related at all, unlike the Powerpuff Girls. Don't count the anime. Kind of have. I really have to agree. 
And here's my comment. And here's my comment. The episodes are available from YouTube and YouTube, and also Timo Supremo didn't rip off Mooch Lucha. These shows both came out in 2002. Timo Supremo first came out in in January 19th, 2002, while Mucho Lucha came out in August 17th, the same year. So, yeah. Oh, and another thing I'd like to point out. Now, Captain Crandall, Skate... Captain Crandall, Crandall, Skate Lad, Hector, and Brenda, I mean... I mean, Rope Girl, Brenda, are not kindergartners. They're in the third grade, which means they're third graders. Whoever wrote that must be stupid. Yeah. Anyways, to the person who, who made this, this be on the terrible shows an episode, Wiki, screw you and burn in hell. To me, I'd say Timo Supremo rocks. Well, that's all I wanted to say. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night or whatever.